Hey, there you are. Glad you're here at last, Crystal. The boss actually came in today. I think he wanted to talk to you about something. He's right beside you. Yes, yes, good morning. I wanted to tell you how impressed I was with your work on the school. Very good work, Crystal. Your ability to handle a project of that magnitude has made me decide to give you more responsibility. Starting today, I'd like to officially make you the project leader of town development. Okay then, that's pretty cool. That's the sort of attitude I'd like to see, yes yes. With this, you are now free to work on any new facility you choose. Quite a step up, huh? I guess that reminds me. Isabel should be arriving tomorrow with the details about new facilities the town needs. But before you see her tomorrow, I wish to present you with a little gift today. I've placed it on your desk, so be sure to look it over at your leisure. It's a copy of the Happy Home Handbook, a set of lessons designed to help you improve your skills. You may find it rather enlightening regarding decorating tips or other such things related to your job. Ordinarily, you would have to pay for each lesson with your hard-earned play coins, but... Well, because I am so generous, I have offered you this first lesson for free. I am too kind. Now then, I should get back to my own work. Those links aren't going to hit themselves. Goodbye for now, Crystal, and good luck. I bet he's off to play another round of golf. I guess that's one of the perks of being the boss. Speaking of being your own boss, congrats on your promotion. You're going to be a great project leader. Now, Isabel is coming in tomorrow to talk about new facilities. Make sure you're here on time. But we don't have anything on the books for today, so just get out there and do your best. There's one more thing I want to mention. Oh, that's right, the Happy Home Handbook. I've been studying the handbook in my spare time, and the lessons are really helpful. Lots of good tips. Make sure you take advantage of the free lesson Mr. Nook is offering. All right, Tiger, go get him. All right, and on the lower screen is just telling me about the handbook and stuff like that. So, um, I guess we'll just head outside right now. I don't want to accidentally save and quit. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'd probably end up pressing that button instead of the handbook button. Okay, I want a beach. No, I want a lounge around the beach. I want an exotic resort. Why go color when you can go black and white? Alright, so that's my choices for today. I kind of want to go with her. She's so cute. Yes? Oh, that's right. You're with Nook's Homes, aren't you? Say, is there any chance you'd be up for building me a new house? Sure thing. Thank you so much! I knew you were the designer for the job. She's really cute. I've never had her in my town before. Well, Pico, let's talk a bit about your planning requirements. Crystal, you need to choose a location that fits our client's needs. Alrighty, so... I kind of like that one. <laughs> um, I definitely want to go with something with cherry blossoms in it for her. Because it matches her shirt and I think it probably her personality, so... Oh, uh, no, no, no. Eh, I mean... No, 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 definitely not. 
I think this one is pretty nice. Alright, Pico, we'll get rolling with this plan here. Crystal, head over to the site with Pico. Go get him, Tiger. This is all so exciting! I'd better start researching housewarming party recipes right away! Alright, so an exotic resort. Alrighty, so. First things first, I want to change up this house just a little bit. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna keep the pink-ish theme. Like, it is, probably isn't gonna really match the inside, but the outside I'm gonna... I wanna try and go with the cherry blossom theme. Mmm... I want a better wall than that. No, uh, that kind of looks weird. Eh? It's better. <laughs> it's gonna be a really, really pink house. Alrighty, how about this fence? You know what my problem is though with fences? I only like two of the fences in the entire game and that's like the bush fence and like the actual white picket fence. All the other ones I'm not a big fan of. So I haven't really ever looked at them. I guess this one will do. Um... Alright. What else do I want to do here? I think I want to put in, like, bushes. That's my very first thought. Um, trying to think of where I would want them, though. Oh, right, forgot I can do this. <laughs> Alright, well, how about I put one on either side of the door? Am I allowed to do that? Okay, well, that's not that bad. Can I put one right here then? Um, yeah, no. Over here. <laughs> Not quite. But I can move this one. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's not make this entire episode be trying to put down bushes in the right spot. <laughs> oh, I just want to push this one over, but I know I can't do that. <laughs> Alright, fine. One bush it is. Alrighty, well I'll just go inside then. I, uh, I'll work on this after. I'm not that good at the exterior. Alrighty, so I'm guessing we're gonna be using the exotic theme from the looks of it, yep. Yeah. Alrighty. Exotic bed. I want to put this as a nightstand, I think, and I'm going to put the lamp on top of it. Um... Yeah. 
Another nightstand. Whoa, oh, jeez. I'm sorry. That wasn't even the one you gave me. You just didn't want me throwing that one out either. Well, I mean, she's clapping, but this isn't the same theme. I mean, it could work, but... I don't see... Maybe I'm blind, but I don't see the other... The table. Well, here's the chair. They don't really look that good together, though. Uh-uh. I'm gonna try finding it again. Here's the table. There we go. Okay. And I want to put the chair... Uh, I kind of want to put it over here, actually. Little wardrobe. I think that's what that said, at least. <laughs> it looks like a wardrobe, so... That's not the right theme. My bad. They look very similar in the thumbnails. That's my problem. Alright, well here's a little thing. I want to turn this around on here. I think that's cute. And the song fits the room too. This is gonna be perfect. I wanna move, move me, and then, yeah, that's. I like that a lot. Kind of separates and divides the room into like a living room, or like a general room, and then like a bedroom. I don't think I'm supposed to put incense next to your tea, but <laughs> we'll figure that out later. Just put that there for now. Uh, you guys can't really see that, but <clears throat> it's a little wall shelf thing. Can I put it over the lip? The yes, I can. Sweet. All right, I want it right there. This is cute, and I want this right underneath her bed, I think. And then, this should be the easy part, finding the matching wallpaper and flooring. I stand corrected about the flooring. <laughs> Alright, which one do I want to use? We have this one. This. Oh, no, no, I don't like that one. Or this one. I think I'm gonna go with the first one. Yep, this one looks. This one looks best. Here's a little trash bin, trying to make the room a bit more like it's being actually lived in, you know what I mean? <laughs> I kind of want to do something on this side of the room, but I'm not sure what yet. Alright, well this is cute. Little slipper rack. Right beside the door. I think that's cute. Um, hmm. Yeah, 
I want to put this underneath the window in the sunshine. <laughs> okay, so she likes the tea set. I'm gonna put this with the teacup. Okay, yeah, I got this. I'm gonna put this right here. Still have the plant in the sunshine and also have the incense right beside it. I'm gonna turn this teapot around and yeah, that should do it. Okay, she likes that. So we're gonna put it on this side. So she wants to jam out while listening to some music. Um. There we go, alright. So I kind of want to put this... Yeah, beside her bed. It kind of matches her actually, so... There we go. I quite like this room, actually. Considering I'm doing this at some god-awful early hour in the morning, I do like this room. So let's head back outside and try and finish up there. I am at such a loss for what to do here. <laughs> um, I know that I still want bushes. I just have to figure out how to make it work. Well, here's a gyroid that would fit in well, actually. I'm gonna put it right there because if you've played the GameCube Animal Crossing, <laughs> you know exactly why I'm putting it there. Hmm, all right. No, nope, this is not what I wanted to do. Um, where is what I'm looking for? <laughs> First off, I want to change this uh, fence into something that I actually like, but there is a reason why I'm doing this, if I'm planning this out correctly. Alright, so camera cut out there. Sorry guys, I'm going to be putting the bushes along this area here because I think it's kind of dangerous to have a ledge so close to your house. So putting up some sort of wall of bushes, I guess, could work out quite well. Why I didn't just think about moving the bushes with my stylus earlier when I was trying to put them around the house, I don't know, but... <laughs> suddenly just hit me that I can do that, so that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Alright, 
Alrighty, I kind of like that. There's a little bit of space there, but I'm not that picky. Yeah, this isn't that bad. I kind of want something over here. Maybe that swing set that I put in for uh, the kangaroo. Okay, so she likes that. Yeah, this isn't that bad. Alrighty. Oh, are you all done? Bud should not be her catchphrase. Great, thank you. Yay! <laughs> An exotic resort. I really like how this room turned out, to be honest. It really- it suits her. <laughs> and I like the teapot too, that's actually really cool how you can see through it. Oh! <laughs> see, it was a good idea to put in the, the music player, she likes that. Record player. Whatever it's called. <laughs> Oh, she likes the thing too. This is so cute. <laughs> yeah, I really like this room. I think this might be one of my favorite ones that I've done so far. At six in the morning, but <laughs> this is what happens when you can't sleep. You're very creative. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I wish I could have been able to put in a path, but I didn't really see any good ones, so... Yeah, there isn't much for her to do out here. She can pretty much only sit on the swing or look at the gyroid and that's about it. But I figure that swing is facing the right direction. She has a really nice view, so... Yeah, there we go. She knows her gyroid. This is adorable. That joy ride does fit her though. Everything looks great! I'm so glad I asked you to look after this for me. <laughs> Why did I learn aggravation from this? Welcome back, Tiger. You really gave it your all today. Nice job. Don't forget what the boss said. Isabel is coming tomorrow to talk about the public works project. You're pretty much in charge of developing these projects for our, near, our new town, so be ready. Alrighty. I guess I'm gonna go check out that thing now, if I can. Um, I wanna check out this handbook. Thank you for checking out the Happy Home Handbook. You can use play coins to learn all kinds of things about home design. Is this just like a tutorial? If you use play coins and quit the game, blah blah blah. It's like the lesson you want to see. Alright, so there's only one right now and it doesn't cost anything. Oh! Alright, so I've just, I guess, unlocked the ability to put things on the ceiling. Like chandeliers. Um, there's like text on the lower screen telling me what buttons to click, but you can see like basically what I should be doing on the uh, top screen right now. Neat. You can now use items to decorate ceilings. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. I have, like, max play coins right now, so that won't be a problem buying more of these lessons. 
Alrighty then, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back, we're going to be beginning on the Public Works Project stuff with Isabel. So I will see you guys next time. Look forward to it.